Morning all. What a lovely Sunday morning. It's another out and about um, little video and uh, on the old railway from Marsh to Wisbridge. Obviously it used to be Marsh and Yards, whereas Whitemore Prison is right down um, well, about a mile or two away from where I am. But I'm walking and have a little walk down here because um, you might find this very interesting. And uh, I did actually uh, stumble across it the other day. So uh, I don't really suppose you want me to want just just want me to just walk around there just up a path. So what I'll do, I shall uh, stop this for a bit. And I'll see you in a minute. Hello and welcome back. I had to, I had to pause for a bit so people just walked past. They stopped and I had a little look around here. This looks like British Royal Air Force flag up there. So, it's, <laughs> so I'm thinking this could be a crash site for, for a plane or something. I didn't really have a look at it that much the other day, but uh, I got told about it. So. Let's have a look, see, shall we? Oh, I suppose all these... Oh. All these are... Oh, the sun. Are the people who... Uh, who lost their lives. We shall have a look in a minute, uh, because there's plaques Some plaques over there. Don't like the reflection of the sun. Cool shadows as well. Hmm, what's this here? This, this memorial is dedicated to the crew of a Wellington Mark 1 CZA863KOG of 115th Squadron, crushed here on November 24th, 1941, with a loss of all crew. Damn. <laughs> Can I look over here? I mean, I've been walking this, this stretch for cool, quite a few years, but uh, I never knew this. There's some seats over there. So Pip can sit down. <coughs> and uh, what's this one over here? Ah, oh, see, yeah. 150th Squadron Royal Air Force, despite the elements. So this is a plaque. I know you can't see it very well, but uh, um, I shall read it out to you, if you may. The tra tragic event of Wellington Bomber Z8863. During a training exercise on November 24th, 1941, a Vickers Wellington of 115th Squadron based at RAF Marham, when it collided with a line of coal-laden railway trucks at approximately 160 to 200 miles an hour, hmm. and subsequently all nine crew members died. To this day, the reason for the low flying is uncertain, and although there are a few different reports. All that is known is that three of the crew were ground staff that joined the flight for some experience. Further information of this crew and aircraft can be found at RAF Marham and RAF Wittering Heritage Centres. So yeah, it's uh, got all the, if you can see it for the sun or shadow, you can see all the flight crew there and stuff like that. <laughs> and over here, I think in my previous video, I uh, I'll show you this uh, called the Brazza Pits. I used to fish this all the time back in the day. I think it must have been about 25. But uh, I don't really know too much about this pit, so um, there's a plaque over here, and I'll tell you all about it. 
Oh, hang on. There's another one as well. Okay. And there, it says the Brazza Pits. The ballast pits, local, locally known as the Brazza Pits, was constructed to supply water for the steam engines. Now home to many breeds of birds, fish and animals, even otters. So yeah, <laughs> it's a little, it's a little um, video of uh, <coughs> of this uh, memorial of those brave pilots and ground crew and staff, whatever, that uh, unfortunately crashed here on this site <laughs> in 1941. I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have known at all, you know. But all this used to be marshing yards all, all up here. Trains used to come across here over the bridge, go to Wisbridge, go to what, everywhere. You know, just freight freight train, that's all, that's what it was. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. And I tell you what, it's getting more more and more popular now with people just walking and everything like that. So so well, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, uh, if you'd like to know more, just <laughs> Give me a like or comment and see what you think or whatever. So, catch you next time. Ta-da for now.